Hey everybody! Welcome back to Northern Lion Place, The Binding of Isaac Rebirth. 40 wins in a row. We're getting close to that 50 mark. Uh, oh my god, we started with Abaddon and the Bible. That's pretty good. MSXR0YH7. Well, no reason not to check out this deal with the devil. Well, here's a good reason. We don't have any bombs. Hematemesis doesn't really hurt us. Tears down. I'll get that mouse pointer off the screen. That's my bad. Tears down is a real pain in the butt. I suppose we probably should have used the Bible card. Or the Bible uh, option right off the bat there. The Bible option. Steven Seagal is the Bible option. Coming this fall to your Walmart bargain bin. That's a cheap shot. I've never had a movie of the Walmart bargain bin. Anarchist cookbook. You know what? I'm going to... Because we have so many spirit hearts to work with, I'm going to be a little silly here. And we're going to try to use Anarchist Cookbook to get something from this. We got money. We got bombs. For the cost of a spirit heart, was it worth it? I don't know. We got a little bit of a starter kit for uh, for our consumables on this run. It's not so bad. I was hoping maybe we'd get, like, Cricket's Body or something like that, as you might expect. But I have to admit as well that Tears Down pill has really uh, put a damper on things. We are firing very slowly. But despite firing slowly, this is still an amazing run. I mean, the amount of spirit hearts we get or have gotten is just out of control. This is a lot of them. If we just play our cards right, we should be able to snag some tiers upgrades, maybe on the boss fight, maybe in a deal with the devil, but maybe not today, maybe not tomorrow, but someday and then every day for the rest of your life. If I could just maybe have you not be afraid for a minute, I could, I could actually end your life, I could end your fear. I must break you. And there we go. That was much longer than anticipated. Question marks become blood rites. I wish. I do wish, because it would be a much easier way to clear out some of these enemies, but I don't really want to throw away our spirit hearts to use blood rites. And we don't have any, like, red hearts set to come here, so... Kind of thinking we just... we grin and bear it for now. I think we already started with, like, maybe a relatively not amazing tier stat, and then... That tears down pill is just, you know, it's the icing on the shit cake, basically. It's gonna be something we're gonna have to take care of at some point, if we at least have any agency over it. Right now, obviously, we don't, but uh, if at any point we have the opportunity to pick up some extra damage, we gotta go for it. Thank God that um, item room there wasn't Eve's Mascara. That might have been an issue. Gurglings. Honestly, uh, I think I'm gonna pop the Bible here. That way we don't have to worry about creep. We can fly wherever we want, we can leave our friends behind, uh, and all that jazz, you know? that. I was gonna say a Men in Black song, it's not a Men in Black, they're men without hats. The Men in Black are men who predominantly do not wear hats, at least in present day fashion, but... Uh, they are not the Irish rock group of the same name. Was it? Mm, sorry. It, by the way, it's not Men Without Hats, isn't it? It's Men at Work? No, that's a different thing. I don't remember. It. The, it doesn't matter. They're Australian, though. I do remember this. Now. Men at Work might have been a song that used the safety dance. It might have been an 18-plus film I saw accidentally sometime. I can't recall, but it's, it's languishing in my brain. Now, if you could just please pass away here. There we go. Not a tears up, but a damage up is fine here. I, I, I hit the creep somehow. That surprises me. Would someone care to explain how I took damage from that creep, despite having the Bible? Would someone care to explain how my voice rose two octaves there? Oh, teleportation of the deal with the devil right off the bat. And we will take Mom's Knife. I know we had this on the last run, but with our tears downgrade, Mom's Knife uh, becomes very, very worthwhile for us. Not that it's ever not, but this is uh, it's close to a guaranteed win. The only thing that this does do as well is put us in a weird situation where we're a little bit uh, behind... World's card. Might as well pop it. We're a little bit behind the eight ball. I do see a dice room. It scares the crap out of me. It's a one or a six room. Are we really gonna re-roll second floor Abaddon Mom's knife? I I will, because that's that's the name of the game. Those are the rules. And rules, uh I don't I don't agree with the sentiment that rules are made to be broken. I think most rules are made to kind of uh hang around. Rules are not made to be broken. That's something that rule breakers say. Are you a rule breaker? I hope not. Speed upgrade, I like this. Let's uh, open this up. Hopefully we get some more keys so we can still get into our... Or bombs for that matter, so we can get into our 
uh, item room, which is also adjacent to that secret room, as you can see. All right, that means we can use two keys here pretty much, I don't want to say guilt-free, but you get the idea. Four room. Okay, that's that's great. Uh, it will reroll any item pedestal. So we'll see what our item room contains. Let's just go here quickly. And this is actually strategic, not, you know, merely annoying for me, which is also great. Small rock is awesome. And with one remaining bomb, we'll blow this sucker up. Get two pennies and a spirit heart, which is also good. We do not want magic... Well, oh, pardon me. We do not want magic fingers. Too much sparkling water. And uh, we'll open this now, because we can. We got a key out of it, which is great. And in that case, why don't we uh, try to get one more penny so we can go to our shop. We might be able to get the shop pedestal to reroll. And then we can just reroll all this shit all at the same time, and, and that's going to be fantastic for us. Well, it, it has the potential to be fantastic. We might not even want to reroll a shop pedestal, we might just want what's in the shop. But either way, we have the resources to take advantage of it. Uh, we want to reroll the shop item, so we'll buy this, and then... You know what? Why don't we reroll the Bible instead? We don't really want it that much. I mean, we don't want Boomerang either. But uh, at least Boomerang has... It, it can be used to grab consumables. You know, that's pretty much what we're using the Bible for, is to grab consumables and avoid creep. But avoiding creep is not going to be as necessary now that we have the uh, ability to kill enemies before they can summon too much of it. So I'm thinking you try to freeze an enemy right off the bat. Didn't really work out that well for me there. It should work out here, though. Yeah, freeze an enemy and then just walk into them. That's a great combo. We will take Placenta. We already took uh, Mom's Knife, and then we'll reroll those other two items that we already paid for, basically. Whether in time or in, uh, you know, with actual currency. This is good. Alright, so the four room could be fantastic for us. Don't let me down. I guess we might as well take Rosary Bead. And the door should be open. Is that, uh, it's not? Did I not exit that way? Maybe that doesn't have any effect on it. I guess I didn't exit that way. Now, if you exit that way, it stays open. Alright, that's my bad. So we got Gish. Little Gish is a, an upgrade over uh, Magic Finger, for sure. Magic Fingers. Magic Finger sounds scary. Um, and Steam Sale. So we paid 15 cents to get 7 cents off of every big item and, you know, 2 cents off of every small item. That's not bad. Of course, maybe I would have preferred Black Candle, but we don't have any control over that. So let's not get too bent out of shape. Oh, that is a staggering amount of money right off the bat. I'm so excited to actually have a good use for the Boomerang. The reason I think it works better with the Boomerang and Mom's Knife than Boomerang and anything else is because Mom's Knife, although it is a tier, it kind of works even when the tier is not active. Oh, Gimpy's fine, especially if we can get better luck, but um, what I mean by that is the knife is always poking out. Whereas usually with Boomerang, there's a bit of a refractory period, you have to wait for it to start working again. Like your tears, you have to wait for them to start working again. We don't have that with Mom's Knife as long as we're comfortable enough to just walk into an enemy, so... I mean, I apologize for taking away a little bit of the flavor right off the get-go here, but this is looking like it's going to be a win, and we're, we're continuing that march towards 50, which is 60, which is a month. We're getting there. I mean, we're only like two-thirds of the way there. Let's not get too bent out of shape yet. But, uh, or t too attached, I guess I should say, but I'm, I'm excited by the prospect of this. Well, I'm sure glad that I wasted my time doing that. Let's just go to one more room before we go into our item room. I just wanted to make sure we had time to get the charge on, uh, oh, 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 uh, time to get the charge on, uh, our boomerang, which we had, like, tenfold, but whatever. And I was embarrassed that I walked past it. I don't want Epic Fetus. As, as blasé as Mom's Knife is, I think Epic Fetus is even kind of... I don't know what blasé means. But uh, I'm assuming that it means cromulent. I'm assuming that it means perfidious. I don't know. The, these words also, I don't know what they mean. I'm just cracking a joke at this point. Um, to, to pull the veil back completely. I Basically, I, I find Epic Fetus kind of boring. Epic Fetus and usually... Regular stopwatch are two of the only items so good I don't take them. Not out of any sense of self-righteousness, but just because I'm kind of like, eh, it takes the fun out. If I wanted to just steamroll the game, I'd play Call of Duty. D-A-E, I am the right, guys. I'm cracking a joke because I actually, uh... I, I, we're past that point, right? Like, Ubisoft now has, uh... Is it Ubisoft or Ubisoft? It's probably Ubisoft, but, um... They're the new whipping boy, right? For like eight years, it was like, Call of Duty. Oh, new Call of Duty. Surprise, November means another Call of Duty game. And Call of Duty was kind of like the poster boy for lack of innovation. I'm actually a little bit refreshed. Oh, man, the 
little Gish slowed him down so that the boomerang couldn't freeze him. That's something we'll need to watch out for. I'm a little happy now that, like, not that there's still a poster boy for a lack of innovation, but I'm glad that the mantle has changed hands, because I've always had to be that guy that's like, you know, I, I play Black Ops 2 multiplayer for 20 hours. People will be like, this poser, you claim to be into indie games, and then you play, tw you know, 20 hours of Black Ops 2 multiplayer. It's true. I, I don't know. I, I can't defend myself. I, I, I'm being honest there. But then again, I did. I loved Assassin's Creed uh, up until recent iteration, so maybe I, uh, maybe I shouldn't talk. We did get Black Handle on this floor, so I'm excited about that. Uh, don't really care about the secret room or the money there. We'll just head down to the next floor. I never really thought the the Call of Duty games were amazing. I was just, I it was, I hate, I resent cheap jokes. I guess is what I'm getting at. That's why, I, like, I hate whenever everyone's like, well, you know, another Call of Duty game. You're like, yeah. I see you tweeting. You tweet 11 months of the year about how Call of Duty, oh, Call of Duty's killing the friend, killing the industry. Call of Duty, Call of Duty, Call of Duty, and then it comes out, and you're like, I guess I'll begrudgingly buy Call of Duty and support it. And then like, ah, oh, man, you gotta, you gotta vote with your wallet. I'm, not, I'm not even trying to entice you over to my side of thinking that most of the time the multiplayer in the game is sort of fun. I'm just saying, like, you gotta, you gotta stick with your principles. I don't pre-order games, but. Uh, uh, I don't think I need anything else in here that badly. I don't pre-order games, uh, but I don't I, I don't bang the don't beat the pre or don't pre-order games drum too hard because I don't want to make people uncomfortable, I guess. But if you don't want to pre-order games, you should never pre-order games. That's that's just the fact of it. I just hate to see sometimes, uh, I guess, a little hypocrisy is what I'm trying to get at. Not from big name figures, just from people that are like, you know, I don't think people should pre-order games. And then they pre-order like Fallout, and like, well, Fallout is different. Gotta stick to your guns, man. Maybe you don't, actually. Maybe I'm being self-righteous. If so, feel free to tell me. Leave a comment. Northern Line, you're being a little self-righteous right now, but I still like you. You're a pretty cool dude. Sometimes you get up your own ass, but that's true. Uh, that's true of anybody. Anybody can, you know, get a little bit self-inflated when they start talking from a soapbox, and it's important to keep that uh, that humbleness and that genuineness that, uh, that gives you a little uh, sort of everyman type affability. And then I will say, you know what, that person... They, they care, and they, they listen, and you know what, maybe I did get a little bit on my high horse. Which is, I don't like getting on my high horse, you know? I'm, most of the time, I, I don't take, uh, I don't take controversial stands, or try to empower people to, to do things. I'm mostly just like, I'm gonna try to crack some jokes and play some video games, and, and that's, that's gonna be my thing. Which is a little rare these days, I guess, but, um, I think that, uh, that's, that's my style, and I like it that way. So tell me why, if it... Ain't nothing but a heartache. Maybe you could tell me why, if it ain't nothing but a mistake. Can we... I've been skirting around this issue for a long time. Has anyone ever figured out what the Backstreet Boys wanted that way? Or what that way, that manner was? Now I can see that we're falling apart like the way that it used to be. No matter the distance, I want you to know that deep down inside of me, you are my fire. Okay, that's self-explanatory. My one desire. You are, you are, you are, you are, don't want to hear you. Ain't nothing but a mistake. Ain't nothing but a, a heartache. I never want to hear you say I want it that way. I don't, what, is, what does he never want to hear her say she wants it that way? I st I've been trying to solve this problem for years. It's like the, you know, the, the same level of mystery as who did Alanis Morissette, Morissette give a movie theater blowjob to. And perhaps more importantly, because everyone assumes it's Full House's Uncle Joey's uh, actor Dave Coulier. What movie did they see? That's what I want to know. Everyone's like, oh, who, who's you want to know about? Who's you want to know about? Nah, dog. I want to know what movie they saw. Because it was right around the right time to be a movie theater blowjob to Schindler's List. And that's not cool, Alanis. Show us your birth certificate. You don't need to see it. She's Canadian. If, it's, if it was freaking like Beethoven's second or something like that, I'll allow it. But I, wa I want her to... I wanna know! Yeah, exactly. I, I, I wanna know! Did you give Uncle Joey a blowy during the Holocaust film? I'm more proud of that than I should be. Krampus! Just when you thought it was safe to go back into the deal with it. And why aren't you frozen? I know why you're not frozen, but I'm salty about it nonetheless. Little Gish, you're killing my vibe here a little bit. Well, we're still making 
pretty good time. Not as fast as I'd like, but uh, fast enough to, to be in the running for boss rush for sure. Chariot. Oh, yeah, we'll try to pop that right away. Can't change the direction on the knife, so this is going to be way slower than I wanted it to be. Where do we use this Emperor card? Well, I think we could use it on this floor to gain an extra couple of minutes, but then we miss out on the item room probably, and the shop, which we have a lot of money to deal with. Um, or we use it on the next floor to get out of Boss Rush, but then we got to make it there in time for Boss Rush, and i got to admit, we're slowing down a little bit here. And our HP is not that good, actually. Uh, that's that's another sore spot that's starting to stick with me a little bit here is a lack of HP and I'll admit I haven't been following the events of the game super closely right now because I've been uh, Well trying to make up a, a parody for Alanis Morissette's you want to know uh, a, a theoretical parody in which she uh, Gave an actor from a television sitcom a blowjob during Schindler's List, which is not me trying to be insensitive towards the Holocaust I'm just or the Holocaust. Sorry. I'm just I'm trying to just make sure that Alanis wasn't I'm doing it in defense of that, okay? I, there's something she's not telling us, and I, I, I wanna know. I've never actually seen Schindler's List myself, but I should. I hear it's haunting. I know this is a, a waste of a bomb, but it does save us a little extra time. Um, guppy? No guppy. Not even close to guppy. Want to be out of here by like 16-ish. And that's gonna, that's gonna, oh my god, it hit me. That's gonna really press us for time. This is terrible damage. Can we talk about the fact that if I didn't have Gimpy, I would be uh, in a very, very bad position right now? Like, if I didn't have Gimpy, I might be on one red heart. Mind you, if I didn't have Gimpy, I'd probably be trying to play less aggressively, but... You know, we can, we can do that Ashton Kutcher-style butterfly effect all day. P what? Oh my god, I'm so lucky to have not been hit by my own bomb. Very sloppy play. I feel like this is kind of the norm, though, when you when you start with such high damage. You, you're like, I can afford to play sloppily. At least I can. Like, or I, that's my assessment of, of my play. And, uh... Then I, then I do play sloppily. I'm not using the boomerang on every room, because... I, I really think that it mostly works best against bosses, uh... Where we can kill them without even having to get, you know, our hands dirty. Which is great because Hands Clean is another Alanis Morissette song I've been. I got a lot of questions about. Bad damage. I would suggest par, uh, probably worth it. We're at 74 cents. Let's see if we can get into our item room as soon as possible and maybe pick up some speed. Well, as soon as possible is not going to be very soon. Uh, some speed would be very worthwhile. Holy Mantle would just. It would tickle my gizzard just the right way. I don't know what that expression is meant to mean. Come on, get baited. I am so much slower than I even internalized that I was. I should not be taking this damage, man. I wasn't even supposed to come in here today. Pisces is acceptable, I guess. The tier's up. It's not a, a huge coup for us, but it's something at least. And let's get the fudge out of Brown Town here, because we are... Wasting keys and taking terrible damage. Might be a good opportunity for us to look for a second secret room. Mm, okay, well, I will just leave then. And in a weird way, I think we actually slowed down there. One thing's for sure, I don't want to do boss rush. I think I can't be trusted, you know? My, my knife is strong, but my range is weak. Because my tier stat is, is pretty poor, at least it was until recently. We can get another teleport card, that would mean a lot. But even just a dry baby or some black cards here would also be great. Magician, not worth the time investment. Or not worth the, the card investment, to be more accurate. 17 minutes. Still got a chance. Still got a chance. That could be good if we're uh, looking at red chests in there. Golden chests, I mean, we're still going to give it a try. Cricket's head, completely worth it. What comes next? Oh, the husk. Should be a one-hitter. Yeah. Yeah, that was no time flat and... Uh, even more importantly, a really, really nice get for us. Oh, my God. I'm going to finish the room just because we... Just because we we need an invest a return on our investment now. We got a bomb out of it. Lovely. <sighs> these, these mom's knife runs... 
they should be easier than this, I'll admit, but they're they're sometimes a little tricky to navigate because I played too aggressively. It's a it's a character flaw. Now our range is not so bad. I don't know if Cricket's head had anything to do with that, but it seems like we get to that maximum charge a little faster. Come on, just a just a nine lives pickup. Just just one of the best defensive items in the game, and if we can get that. You know, Daddy doesn't need a new pair of shoes anymore. You know, we're in a great situation where we're going to be very happy with ourselves and the, the situations we've found ourselves in. Lucky us. I do have to check this, though. Oh, so worth it. Pact is good. Pact is great, actually. Speed's still a little low. That's what I want now. High speed. Hot eats, cool treats, DQ treats you right. Don't really want mom's eye. Uh, I'm not intimately familiar with how rosary bead works, but I'll accept that for now. Double key room. This could be interesting and terrible. It is not terrible. Whether or not it's interesting, uh, it's another four room for those just listening, but whether or not it's terrible depends on what's in here. SMB superfan means we will be sticking with... Uh, what we got here. Oh, we made it! And I think we're gonna be able to make it into Boss Rush, actually, which is a huge surprise. Um, we'll buy the battery, because why not? We'll donate as much money as they'll let us, and I think we should still be able to make this. Probably at 1930, I gotta get the hell out of here. I'll, I'll wait until 700 cents, because I'm donating like 3 cents a minute. One Mississippi, two Mississippi. Okay, 700 cents, fair. Let's get going, we got 20 seconds to kill this boss. We have done it, that was very easy. Do have a deal with the devil, so we'll go check on that. Uh, Guppy's paw, we'll take and I think we'll hold. So that we can use it for spirit hearts if necessary. Then we'll take Capricorn. And then we'll Emperor card out, and that was huge plays there in the in the final frame of that area. I was a little nervous that I was going to blow it, but we ended up making it happen. So our stats upgrades are really going to help out our damage. Our damage did not need helping out, but this is good. Maybe the tears is the more um, you know pressing concern that we took care of there. Now we can actually fire our knife a little bit more confidently as a ranged weapon as opposed to just... Walking into enemies. I gotta admit, the boomerang thing was good, but I think we soiled it by taking Little Gish, which is my bad, but it's something I didn't even consider. That, like, Little Gish would would supersede the boomerang by, like, hitting enemies that I was facing the direction of. Yeah, we got a nice uh, rate of fire now, which allows us to get a nice charge and range. Charge and range. Don't want to open that, but if we had opened it, we would have opened the golden chest as well. Okay. So any enemy is going to die pretty much as soon as they get touched, but that's not a good excuse for us to be taking damage by walking into enemies. Were it not for the damage we'd taken earlier, I might have missed that. I might have been like, hey, let's walk into enemies. You know, if we get hit, no big deal. We got Guppy's Paw. That's a very that's a very uh, naive way of handling this run at this point. We've, we've been down a little bit. When our pride was low, we were looking at the world like, where do we go? We were actually never really down on this run. We were we were pretty much exclusively up, ex except for situations where my own idiocy kind of precluded it. So, typically on the womb, you're looking at an over-under of maybe like one to two tinted rocks per floor. I haven't found any yet. That doesn't mean they aren't here. We either haven't found them, or they, uh, they have eluded my eyesight. Again, we're just holding on to this guppy's paw until it becomes prudent to use it. I will go back for that. Just wanted to wait for the creep to dissipate. We can always use it, uh, you know, after we've already taken one red heart damage to convert that empty heart container into something that's a little bit more immediately useful. Please die before you attack. Pretty much worked. Okay, good. Deal with the devil. Uh, I think we want the speed as opposed to the spirit heart and luck, honestly. Guppy. Okay, that's not helpful. Pandora's box. <laughs> the goat head. Alright, so we're gonna do full, um, full on. Guppy's Paw Play, and then we're going to take Pandora's Box down to the Cathedral, or up to the Cathedral, I guess, more accurately, where we'll be able to get a deal with the Devil there. This this run, like, all the pieces have fallen into place. It's like a it's like a human life, you know? At first, you, uh, you don't really know how it's going to work out. 
you work hard in school and, and whatnot, ideally, um, in order to try to, you know, ensure that it's going to be good. But you don't know, am I going to be a doctor? Am I going to be an astronaut? Am I going to be homeless? Am I going to be, you know, a movie star, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, and then eventually you just, you, know, you just sort of figure it out. You make it up as you go and you figure it out. That's pretty much what Isaac is like, you know? You only really know how the run's going to go once you're at the end. Uh, but things, the, the picture is very fuzzy in the beginning just because there's so many options uh, open to you. And then as those options sort of start to close off, you see what you've, uh, what you've constructed for yourself and you, you make the best of it. And on this run, that's very good. <laughs> Might have sounded a little somber, but no, on this run, that's, uh, that's an incredible assortment of great stuff. Now, I don't know what I'm going to do with all of our keys if we don't use them all in the chest. We don't have any guppy prospects. That was just terrible damage, but... There should be an item, like... I wish there was an item that made it possible to kind of, like, endlessly duplicate Pandora's boxes. Like a blank card for Pandora's boxes. Because only using it once per floor... Or not once per floor, floor once per game, is like... It's great. It's not, it's not, not great, for sure. I still really like Pandora's box. Wow, that was bad. I still really like Pandora's box as an item, but it feels like it's missing like an item in the game that just makes it so one-time use spacebar items are not actually one-time use. Maybe that's maybe that's too much though. Very easy fight. Easy dodge as well. We're up to the cathedral. Very low. Uh, well, not low on HP, but I, I would like to have more HP. But Pandora's box is going to give us. The miter and a little bit of HP that would ruin our invincibility, so I'm going to ignore that. And maybe we don't need to do that room after all. The miter's great, though. I hope it doesn't cannibalize uh, anything from Rosary Beat. I hope they work in, in synergy with one, or one another. Um, we'll see, though. Time will tell. Actually, we won't see. Someone will tell me in the comments. Because I'm observation is not going to be... Uh, my strong suit, probably, we would say. I can't really uh, offer anything in my own defense except that I thought we could fly, which we cannot. We're just kind of fast. Rules card. Oh, this is good. Chubb just likes smoke. I want to preface this room by saying I'm pretty sure we're going to win regardless. However, every extra spirit heart does help. And if they give us crystal ball, I mean, that's the, that's the only thing we need in order to guarantee it here. You know, in Captain America... The first soldier, or the first Avenger, the, I'm talking about the film, not just the character, the one with Chris Evans from 2011 or whatever, anyway. Um, you know, Stanley Tucci is like, we wanted to make someone strong who knows what it means to be weak. I hope that's a good Stanley Tucci impression. I can add that to my repertoire. Um, that's, I feel like that's true in Rebirth, man. Like, you, we've been strong this whole run, so I don't have an appreciation of what it's like to not kill enemies right away. If I did, I probably would do a better job of not just walking into enemies and being like, Oh, my HP will take care of you because I'm a, I'm a superhero, right? This is where I'm at right now. I mean, I'm happy for the spirit arts, but I'm also understanding that my brain is right now engineered to, like, basically just fuck off on this run because we, I know we've... Or we've known the whole run that we were going to be a success, probably. Which is actually one of the most dangerous ways to... Or most common ways to guarantee yourself a failure. At least give yourself a chance at a failure. Pretty hard to guarantee a failure uh, on a run like this where we just got such good items right off the bat. Guess we'll take Bob's around the head. We haven't really too many options. We'll just take Bob's around. Okay. Emperor card's great, though. Obviously, we'll pop that as soon as we uh, get down to the cathedral. You think that's a secret room? There's a chance. It's low, but there's a chance. It would be convenient. I don't think we want to go to the curse room then. We only have one guppy item, I think. Even if we have two, it's not the be-all, end-all. Yeah, okay, we should be using Samson's Chain for that. We've, we've had the item for like eight floors. At some point we lose the excuse of like, it's new. Bob's Rotten Head is such a weird item in a situation like this because there's no reason to ever use it except to blow up rocks. Which is a, a genuine, actual strength of the item, but... Like, right now... Uh, that's fine. Right now, I'm like, why would we ever use Bob's Brain to deal damage? Bob's Brain is going to do so much less damage than one knife hit. I mean, I guess there's, like, splash damage, or at least, like, it hits in an area of effect, but still. I'm assuming we're not going to need the keys, because we're going to be 
and oh, I was gonna say engineering, but I mean uh, emperoring as soon as we get down to the next floor. And I'm pretty sure that this guy will just die right off the bat. Like, we'll just come in here and try to get him killed. I figured one spirit heart sacrifice for that was a pretty good trade. And that's why I actually liked Bob's Rotten Head there, is as kind of an opening salvo, I guess. It does something. And, uh, Virgo, Chemical Peel, Stigmata, Holy Mantle. Holy crap. That's actually really good. As if we needed it, but it's good nonetheless. So Holy Mantle's been used. Then our quote-unquote permanent Polaroid invincibility, although we didn't have it because of Blood of the Martyr. And the end! Uh, very fast run, especially towards the end there. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. That is win 41, I think. Win 41. Thanks for watching again, and uh, I'll see you next time. If you enjoyed it, click the like button. It helps out a great deal. And of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. For now, I'll see you next time.